Well, well, well. What have we here? What did the UPS man drop off on my front porch this morning? Hmm. What could it be? Well, let's open the boxes and we'll see. Alrighty. So, let's start with the big box. Because when I was a kid at Christmas, I would always go for the big box first. Hmm. Be careful, you don't want to cut whatever's in there. This is one of her kitchen knives. She doesn't like it when I use kitchen knives for purely utilitarian reasons. Ah, well, well, well. Could it be a boat? Hmm. A boat. Another boat for me. Interesting. I gotta lift this out. You gotta like a boat that you can lift with one hand. Let's get rid of this here. So this is a Sea Eagle kayak. It's the uh, 420X model of the Explorer series. And I decided to get one of these to solve a little problem that we've been having on board our cruising sailboat, our Aloha 32 Escapade for which I have a tender right now, which is a Shellback dinghy, a sail and oar boat, fantastic little boat. But unfortunately, at 12 feet long, it's a bit long to, to be able to sling it in the davits of the mother ship, so I have to tow it, and it tows quite well. But we sail on Lake Ontario, and Lake Ontario can get quite rough. And the idea of towing a boat across Lake Ontario in rough swells scares me, especially a boat that I love and I don't want to lose. And so, if ever I'm undertaking anything more than a very close uh, coastal trip, if I'm crossing a big body of water, I'm, I would prefer not to bring the shellback dinghy along. And so I was looking for an easy tender, a boat that I could use as a tender. I don't like those big inflatables with, uh, with outboard motors. Uh, it's just another maintenance hassle. And, um, so essentially what uh, I was thinking of was an inflatable boat that could be taken down and packaged and stowed up on deck or in a locker or something like that. And the Sea Eagle, I did some research on kayaks and this seems to be the very best one on the market for the money. It's extremely robust, high quality uh, uh, material and, uh, and it's very capacious. Capacious, sorry. <laughs> this one can take two adults. Um, and uh, it's a very, the design is such that it's a, an extremely rigid hull when it's inflated. And I'll, I'll uh, uh, get this boat inflated and show you uh, exactly what it looks like in the layout. But first, let me attend to some, uh, some unpackaging and I'll get right back to the uh, inflating part of the, of the video. All right, so I've unboxed the, the kayak and all of the accessories. So this is what it looks like. It's about 14 feet long. And it comes, I bought the, um, what's called a Pro Carbon Kit. So basically what that comprises is basically the, uh, the actual inflatable kayak itself. Some... Uh, Better quality uh, carbon fiber paddles, uh, two, two sets of paddles. I'm not going to say they're the best. Um, my uh, Sea Kayak probably has better uh, bending branches paddles, but uh, these are, I think, uh, pretty good. They're better than the chunky uh, aluminum paddles that you often see with these things. And uh, two really nice upgraded seats. So these look like uh, they can be very comfortable and they're very, um, they're going to be more ergonomic than the inflatable seats that come with the basic unit. The, uh, the foot pump comes with it, uh, but I also opted to 
get the electric pump which is in that bag and I'll show you the operation of that in a moment. And in addition you get a little skeg, a little repair kit and two, uh, two bags, uh, really nice quality bags for gear and stuff. Now that battery, that's a, a lithium-ion battery, that's of course not part of the kit. I brought that up in order to, uh, to connect the charger, or the, sorry, the, the pump, the air pump, to the device. So uh, next we shall, uh, we shall proceed to read the instructions and inflate this thing and see what it's all about. The pump is a little noisy, but we are indoors. Wowzers! There it is. So there are three tubes to inflate, the two side ones and then the bottom. And the thing about these Sea Eagles is not only are they really uh, reputed to be very, very tough, they're actually rated for Class 4 Rapids, if you can believe it or not, but the floor is made of what's called drop stitch um, material which is basically what the uh, inflatable paddle boards are made of. And so essentially this is a very, very rigid boat. So unlike uh, if, if you've had experience of inflatable kayaks and if you're used to, to uh, sea kayaking with a proper hard shell kayak, like I have a Delta 18, which I love, you're, you're kind of sometimes disappointed by the performance of these inflatable kayaks because they tend to be soft and floppy. And... Uh, you know, they're, if you're a proficient paddler, they're not very satisfying. These, although I've never experienced one of these on the water yet, have the reputation for being, uh, well, as close as you can possibly get to the hard shell kayaking experience in an inflatable. We'll see this summer. Uh, right now it's January in Ottawa, Canada, so it's not time to be going out on the water for a few months. But, uh, well, anyway, I'm going to continue setting this up and I'll show you guys. I, uh, I'm working alone here. I don't have a camera person with me, so I'm going to have to be uh, putting the camera down while I do this. So I'll install the seats and show you what that's all about, and then I'll sit in it, and you can see me sitting in it in my own living room. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's exciting. This looks like it would be a hoot to bring on a tobogganing hill. <laughs> yeah. So here it is. I've assembled the seats. I didn't read the instructions. I'm a guy, you know. We don't read instructions. So I hope I've got them on right, but I think I do. So there she is, you know. I'm not a little palooka. I'm a big palooka. And to me, this looks actually to be a fairly good size. Let me sit in her. You can watch me sit in my, sit in my kayak. Dum -ba -dum. Oh, nice! Oh, wow, yeah. You know something? I think I'm going to be pretty secure in this. I think so. So there's a little strap down there. I'm not sure what that's for. I'm wondering if it could be a, a foot strap that you could brace your feet on. You know, because when you're paddling, sometimes, like a hard shell kayak, you basically wear, well, I don't know, I guess you'd have to attach something to that. <laughs> I was hoping to loop my heels in. But, uh, wow, it's solid. Like, I feel like, uh, I feel very, very, uh, very competent. So I'm hoping this summer to regale my audience with uh, footage of paddling the Sea Eagle kayak. So my wife and I bought this boat because essentially... There we go. There's the back of it. We're both paddlers. We both have hard shell kayaks, but there are times when it would be nice to go in tandem and not have to fuss with uh, loading two kayaks on the roof of the car. And this, of course, is a, a, an easy uh, option for transportation. And uh, it, uh, it allows us uh, to both be in the kayak so that we can, uh, we can be together. So we're, we're hoping to undertake some... Uh, Far, far faring cruising adventures uh, to places like Nova Scotia and so on with our Drascom lugger. And it would be nice sometimes when you go on these kinds of cruises to be able to paddle. There are days when you don't feel like launching the sailboat, but you might be driving along uh, a nice coastline and, th and think, oh, I'd like to just paddle out to that island over there or whatever. And so this would be a nifty thing to have in the trunk. 
very quick to uh, to deploy. It took me a little over five minutes to inflate everything with the electric pump, and uh, so that that's pretty easy. And uh, yeah, it's an instant boat that you can just uh, uh, you know just uh, deploy very quickly and just go. Uh, but as a tender for a cruising sailboat for the Aloha Thirty Two. This will be a nice too because when you get to an anchorage you can just kind of, uh, we can both of us go out and do a little bit of exploration, look into the nooks and crannies. So it remains to be seen how well it paddles. Obviously it doesn't have the ergonomic design of a, of a traditional hard shell kayak, but, but the sides look fairly low. It's just they're a little bit wide so when you're paddling you might have to kind of do a little bit of reaching out with your, with your arms more than would be desirable. Uh, if you were doing like a long paddle, like a kind of a kayak cruise where you really should be using your 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 waist as part of the, um, you know, the muscle that you're using to drive the boat, which is easy to do in a hard shell kayak because your body is well braced against the kayak and the ergonomics just work well for that kind of paddling. This you're going to end up, I, I suspect, using your arms and kind of, you know, raising your arms and reaching out to paddle. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, from all of the other videos that I've seen featuring these boats, apparently they, they paddle quite well. Now there is a skeg that I can attach, and the skeg is just over here. Ah, sorry, reaching out here. And so this uh, has a, a very nice uh, solid attachment point, um, of course at the stern of the kayak, and uh, it apparently really helps with tracking. This is a deep stem, they, uh, sorry, skeg. They also have a shallow skeg, which I did not get. I might get at some point. So uh, when you're coming in really close to shore, but uh, apparently this makes a big difference. So there you go, folks. That's the, uh, is the Sea Eagle 420X, about 14 feet in length. It's uh, easily a good tandem for, uh, for adults and could possibly be even a triple if you have a, a child or certainly a dog or a cat or what have you. Um, and from what I can see, it can carry a, an awful lot of gear here. So that's it. Looking forward to spring when I can splash this thing. Bye.